This here's the Dill Rugged Extreme. You're welcome. There's Alex, getting Canadian soil all over the keyboard. Can't do that with a MacBook, and here's David doing bicep curls. There's Alex editing spreadsheets in the shower. That's what I call peak efficiency. There's David crying openly to the Iron Giant. And here's Alex throwing it in the back of his truck. There's David using it to fight off a bear at night. Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. But what has Dell had to give up so that the Latitude 7424 Rugged Extreme can handle those extreme conditions? And who is this beast actually for? Is your wallet full of pointless stuff like hotel room keys and spent gift cards? Well, Ridge Wallet can change those habits. And when you use offer code Linus, you can save 10% off with free worldwide shipping at the link below. I feel like this goes without saying, but the build quality of the Dell Latitude Rugged Extreme 7424 is beyond exceptional. Like when I say there's no flex in the chassis, I don't mean there's like no flex when you just touch around the keyboard. I mean you could literally stand on this thing and it's not going to care. But although I appreciate the armor, the Rugged Extreme is still a shockingly thick machine. With around 60 millimeters of girth, it's not just thick, but it's like three times thicker than a thick laptop. But like, that thickness isn't here for nothing, since the Rugged Extreme sports one of the most impressive assortments of I.O. I've ever seen, which might be kind of surprising given that you can't even see any of it right now. This is because one of the Rugged Extreme's key features is an IP65 rating against dust and pressurized water. So every USB port or headphone jack represents a potential ingress point. To combat this, Dell has locked all of these ports away, so accessing is a little different than your average laptop. So what you get standard is two USB 3 Type A ports, standard headphone jack, USB C, and power. From here you have some options for I.O. based on exactly what your needs are. Our spec has HDMI, Ethernet, redundant Ethernet, serial, and a full-size display port. And although that's quite a bit, over on the right side is where things get really weird. So. Over here, we have another USB Type A, a SD card reader and a SIM slot, a Blu-ray player, a freaking swappable PCI storage bay, and a smart card reader, which can be used for identification and validation of who is using the Rugged Extreme. The Rugged Extreme also comes with a certification for a large swath of tests like IEC ingress testing, environmental testing, and hazardous location testing. This means it's rated to do a whole number of really silly things like be operational 15,000 feet in extreme cold down to negative 29 degrees Celsius. It will shake off a 40 degree shock and won't cause an explosion if you're using it around flammable gas, which is pretty great if you're using it on an oil platform, along with a bunch of other things aligned on this four page document. As far as performance goes, the Rugged Extreme is no slouch, but it also won't blow you away. Rocking a quad-core Intel i7-8650U and an AMD RX 540 for graphics, it won't be playing the latest games at full details, but if you have a moment while out on the field, it can run eSports titles reasonably well. And aside from games, the system feels very snappy overall and should be plenty powerful for doing things like running medium-sized MATLAB simulations or editing smaller CAD assemblies. My favorite stat though is the battery capacity. With two 50 watt hour batteries, you get the exact maximum amount allowed on a plane, but even if that isn't enough, they're both hot swappable, so you can easily just pop it out and pop another one right back in if you're running low and far from a plug like we are right now. But one thing, with all of those components, you'll be creating a fair bit of heat, and since the whole thing's waterproof, how the heck do they dissipate all of that? Well, if you remove the bottom panel, which actually is made of magnesium and not the plastic I originally thought it was, we can see that the heat pipes go from the GPU and CPU and storage kind of like you'd expect, and then through a sealed wall with the heat sink and fan on the other side, allowing the heat to get out without letting any water or dust in. While we're in here, we get a glimpse at the Rugged Extreme's above average upgradeability with easy access to two RAM slots and external access to the batteries and storage. If you happen to actually break it though, it does come with Dell's Pro Support Plus, which gives you top priority and even mission critical four hour parts and labor response. Although it does say that varies on regions, so they probably won't airdrop you an SSD in the middle of the desert. But like in downtown Seattle, they'll probably like bike it to you or something. <laughs> now the display doesn't have the best color reproduction ever. I certainly wouldn't use it for photo or video editing, 
but overall it's still pretty good. It has exceptional brightness for use outdoors, has awesome viewing angles, and will more than do the job when you're out on the job. The Rugged Extreme also supports a touch display and pen support, which is conveniently located on the side of the laptop, and uh, it's pretty easily the worst touch screen I've used for years. But that's not without reason. Most touchscreens nowadays use capacitive technology, which uses the fact that your fingers are a bit conductive to determine where exactly you've touched on the screen. The Rugged Extreme, however, uses a resistive touchscreen, which works based on pressure being applied to the display and also just makes it way worse to use with your finger. But it also still works when you're wearing gloves and have water or dirt all over your hands, so it fits the laptop. The touchpad also makes use of resistive technology and feels like it's fresh out of 2006. But once again, it has the benefits of gloved operation and honestly, after I used it for like a day, I stopped noticing just how mediocre it was. So I guess it just comes with the territory of something this rugged. What isn't mediocre though is the keyboard. It doesn't quite have the precise tactile feel that other keyboards have. Like it does have a rubber seal underneath it to keep water and dust out, but Overall, the typing experience is still excellent. At this point, I'd give it a solid A, but surprisingly it has RGB, so I'll bump it up to an A+. As for the hideable webcam, it isn't the greatest I've ever experienced, but I really appreciate the inclusion of Windows Hello facial recognition and the fingerprint reader, both nice to haves. But is the Dell Latitude 7424 Rugged Extreme really about nice to haves? Like, would I recommend this to the average person? No, not at all. It's like $4,500 and it's an absolute bear to use. But if you're working around flammable gases, not blowing up is way more important than an Alcantara wrist rest. If you're doing research in the Arctic, your computer turning on is a lot more important than a 4K display. And if you're wading through a bog in the jungle, I would take water resistance above a 2080. So if those are the kind of things you get up to, the Rugged Extreme is going to be an awesome travel companion. Audiobooks can be the perfect sidekick for any number of summer activities, like hiking, sunbathing on the beach, running, road tripping, kayaking. I mean, so many phones are waterproof now. Like, you can take audiobooks with you anywhere. And Audible has got you covered. They've got their Audible Originals collection that features exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, literature, and more. And you can get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible Originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Go to audible.com slash Linus or text Linus to 500-500. One book that we suggest that is only available on Audible is Cracking the Tech Career. This audiobook provides great advice on career paths in the technology industry and about how to make your application the most attractive one in the deep pile of candidates. So again, that's audible.com slash Linus or text Linus to 500-500. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out where to find the stuff we featured in the video description. I guess if like you're a scientist or some crap. Also linked below is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.